watching Bianca Renee today, and today I'm going to give you the video that you all have been requesting. How did I grow my hair so long, so fast? If you are new to my channel, let me give you a little recap of how short my hair used to be. So in May 2015, I got what I like to call an accidental big chop. I call it accidental because I had absolutely no heat damage. My hair was perfectly fine, but I got casted as a model in a hair show and they cut off 70% of my hair. So that was a little extreme, you know, but you guys can watch that video if you want as well. But this is how short my hair became. So here's my progress picture from June 2015. And then here is my progress picture a year later. And we are quickly approaching two years since that big haircut, which is my most recent progress pick right here. So as you can see, it has grown a lot. I must say that my hair kind of does naturally grow pretty fast on its own, but these are all the things that I did that also could help you if you have hair that doesn't really tend to grow as fast. I know everybody wants like some secret magic ingredient that I did, but all the tips I'm going to give you are going to require patience and commitment. But I will give you one thing that I know you guys will enjoy, which is, voila! This is my Groove Shampoo Brush Scalp Massager from Vanity Planet. You guys have seen this before in a previous video back when my hair was short, so you know that I actually have been using it. But this is a new one because it's yellow. My first one was purple, but Vanity Planet just came out with a whole bunch of new colors, perfect for spring, they're like Easter colors. There's yellow, green, pink, maybe a blue. They're really, really cute, but I decided to get the yellow one because it reminded me of a pineapple, <laughs> of course. And this is a great way for you to massage your scalp while you're in the shower. When you think about hair growth, it grows from your scalp. So your scalp is like the most important thing that you need to take care of for your hair to grow. Think of your scalp as like the dirt foundation when you want to like grow a plant. You can't grow plants in dry, brittle, desert okay unless you want a cactus but i don't think we're trying to grow cacti over here that might not be a word you know what i mean now although you could just give yourself scalp massages while you're in the shower with your hands i personally have long nails so i don't really want to like scrape my scalp so the shampoo brush will cleanse your scalp without damaging it because it has these rubber bristles so i like to use the brush to really get in there and plus it has a little vibrating sensation and the vibration is also going to promote blood circulation, which is going to help promote hair growth. It also helps break away and lift up any dead skin cells, dirt, oil, all that stuff that builds up over time, which is going to be crucial for you to remove for you to get long growing hair. Now, if you go to the website, you will see that these cost $40, but don't worry. You know I got a promo code for you guys. You're actually gonna get 50% off. So if you use Bianca 50, it'll only make it $20 and you can pick any color you want. So of course I will put all that information and the link to Vanity Planet in the description box below. Tip number two brings me to my sweatshirt. Deep condition and chill. So important. Every single time you guys ask me about your hair damage or hair growth, I always recommend doing a deep conditioning treatment. I do a deep conditioning treatment once a week and I also wash my hair once a week, so pretty much every time I'm washing my hair, I deep condition. Deep conditioning does not mean just using a conditioner and like deeply getting it in there. No, no, no. There's conditioner, like normal conditioner, and then there's actually deep conditioning treatments and hair masks. That is something that you put on your hair and you leave it on for at least 20 minutes. If you wanna know which ones I use, make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'm always showing you guys what I'm putting in my hair every week. Tip number three, make sure you are using healthy hair products. I always like to use products that are paraben, silicone, and sulfate free. And you could see that right on the label. If not, you will have to look at the ingredients on the back and look for certain keywords. I also have a video on how to read bottles, so you can watch that one as well. But it is very important because it goes back to your scalp. If your scalp is dry, it's not going to grow any hair. And it could be dry due to sulfate. So if sulfates is in your shampoo, it's going to be drying out the natural oils that your hair creates and your hair needs that natural oil to grow. And you also kind of want to try to stay away from silicone. I know some of you guys like silicone. If you do, don't do it that often because it could create buildup. So if you have too much product buildup, it's 
building up on your scalp, leaving no room for your hair to grow. Tip number four, make sure you drink lots of water. I know we're tired of hearing this tip because everybody says it, but drinking a lot of water is not only going to help your hair grow, it's going to clear your skin, it's gonna make your nails grow, and it's just gonna make a better, healthier you. You really can't go wrong. Would you water your garden with juice and soda? I wouldn't. You need water for it to grow. If you have a hard time cutting out juice and soda and only drinking water, you should only buy water. If it's not in your fridge, you're not gonna drink it. So literally when you open the fridge, all you see is water, you're going to have to drink water because you're thirsty. You also could spruce it up by getting cute little bottles that makes things more fun to drink in. And you also could add fruit like lemon, strawberry, cucumber, and this will add a little bit more flavor to your water and it looks cute. Number five, how are you sleeping at night? Make sure that you sleep on a satin pillowcase. Now this isn't really to help your hair grow, but it's more to maintain your hair growth. When your hair is rubbing on the pillowcase at night, you're creating friction, you can cause breakage. And if it's breaking off, it's not gonna look like it's growing even if it is. Sleeping on a cotton pillowcase is actually sucking up the oils from your hair and now you're gonna wake up with dry, brittle, frizzy hair. I personally always sleep with my hair in a pineapple hairstyle and I sleep on a satin pillowcase, but if your hair is shorter or too short for a pineapple, you could then just use a satin bonnet. Satin bonnet on a satin pillowcase, you're just gonna be sliding around, but ain't nothing gonna mess up those curls. And tip number six, which is the obvious one coming from me, which is don't put heat on your hair. I personally have started a no heat challenge which I know many of you are involved in and I hope none of you gave up yet, but if you could just eliminate putting heat on your hair, it's going to grow so much faster. I gotta tell you, I am so tired of girls doing a length check as an excuse to straighten their hair. If you're never gonna wear your hair straight, then why are you so concerned about the length of it when it's straight? You have to be actually concerned about how long it is when it's curly. If I always wear my hair like this, why do I care that it's down to here? Like, yeah, it's cool, but look, length check, I pulled it. It's gonna go right back up, no heat damage, no straightening. I've just showed you so many progress pictures and I did not straighten my hair once to know that my hair is growing, okay? I figured it out put two and two together, yeah, it grew. This is what I want you to do. I want you to literally print out a picture of me, okay? And I want you to tape it on your straightener. So the next time you grab for your straightener, you see me going, ah, 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 and then you won't straighten your hair because you know I'll be sad. I get sad when you guys tell me you're straightening your hair. It's true. I can't sleep at night. Do you want me to go without sleep? Another thing that I want you guys to do is make sure you take pictures. It might sound crazy, but I don't even realize how long my hair has gotten until you guys tell me that and I'm like, oh, you're right. Or I look at my old pictures and I'm like, wow, it really has grown. We see ourselves every day. So your hair could be growing, but you're sitting there mad like it's not just because you don't realize it. So that is everything that I've literally done since that big chop that you saw. I'm always posting new videos for you guys so that your curly hair journeys are as easy as possible. I post new curly hair videos every single Sunday, and if you don't wanna wait till Sunday, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee, so you could see me every day. I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.